reporting from the barn. I'm about to head into the chicken pen to do some chicken chores. This is something that we usually only have to do about once a week and it's changing up the bedding and filling up the food. It's a really large feeder so it doesn't have to be filled every day. The waters, um, they normally get filled every day but I'm gonna give them some new stuff, clean them out and add some supplements in there to keep our flock nice and healthy. I'm also gonna add two more nesting boxes in there because we have more chickens that have started to lay eggs. We had five eggs yesterday. So I'm gonna put some more nesting boxes in there. There's supposed to be one nesting box for every four hens. So we have 12 hens. Um, so I'm putting four nesting boxes in there just because. Um, and I'm also gonna put some ceramic eggs in some of the nesting boxes. So it kind of kicks their habit of pecking them. Sometimes they peck them or crack them. Um, the ceramic eggs don't, there's nothing in them, so there's no reward to pecking them, so they quit doing that, and it also encourages them to start laying their own eggs in the nesting boxes where the other eggs are. So, here we go. All right, here's the gang. Um, I coaxed them all over here by giving them some Garden Delight treats. They're eating probably more vegetables than I will today, which is fine. It's good for them. Um, these chickens and ducks started as a classroom project, so I ordered viable chicken eggs to incubate in my classroom. And I call them viable because I could not just go to the grocery store and incubate the eggs and expect a chick to hatch out of them. Just like humans, you need a male and a female to make viable eggs or make fertile eggs, so the eggs that you buy in the grocery store come from hens that have not been exposed to a male. So. Hens will lay eggs no matter what, rooster or not. Um, it's just a natural bodily function that they do, but the eggs that I bought, they did have a rooster in with them, so that makes them fertile, and that means if you take care of them the right way, take care of the eggs the right way, a chick will hatch out of them. It takes 21 days for a chick to hatch. We put 28 eggs in the incubator and 12 of them hatched which is it seems like a low number but it's actually pretty good um, on the website it said that you expect about a 40% hatch rate so we were just about there so I'm happy with that you'll notice all the different breeds and colors that's because I ordered a variety pack of eggs so when we, when we got our eggs they were different colors different sizes different shapes and then we got this colorful blend of chickens to come out of them and then the ducks were an afterthought from tractor supply. There was chick days, I had a weak moment, and now we have two more, two more ducks. I'm gonna add the two nesting boxes now so those these two behind me are the original ones and they like just haven't figured out how to use them yet or maybe um, they haven't learned to trust them so I got some different ones um, that are open on the top and we're gonna I'm gonna hang them up and hopefully that will get them to start laying in there So I've got both of the nesting boxes up now and I put them at different heights trying to figure out like kind of what the chickens prefer. So this one's a little lower to the ground and this one's a little higher. They can be like up to three feet high. So that's about what this one's at. And we'll see if they help up there. And then these are the ceramic eggs that I was talking about. So this is actually fake. Um, it comes in a set of two from Tractor Supply. And let's see if that gets them hopping up there. And then once they figure these ones out, I'm gonna try and get them to graduate into those ones. Rooster, now would be the time to uh, to do something cool. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. 
Sweet.